Have you wanted to start a clothing brand but are stuck in a burden where you don't know where to start and don't exactly know how it's printed? Well, stick to this video and I'm going to take you along with me in screen printing for a local clothing brand from start to finish. My name is Bob McDonough and I am the owner of Aesthetic and Print, which is a custom apparel printing company based in Frederick, Maryland, and we specialize in screen printing. So let's go. Now, this may be common sense, but in order to start a clothing brand, you got to have some sort of design or slogan that you want to print. And even if you don't have a design, just a name to start with would be perfectly fine. You want to get that mocked up as you can see on that computer. Now, once you think of that design or slogan idea, you want to find a custom apparel printing company. But in specifically, you want to search for a screen print company because it lasts the longest, it's the most durable, and it's the best bang for your buck. In this video, I'll show you exactly why screen printing is the best method, and you'll see the process of why and how it's priced. Then that company should be able to mock up your design onto t-shirts so that you can see it digitally as a template. And if they don't do that, then you really shouldn't be working with them because if they can't even get you a free mock-up, then what is the point of them? Because us here at Aesthetic Imprints, we give you a free mock-up with unlimited revisions. So if you want to change something, we'll send it right back to you for free. We don't want to give you a product that you don't like and we want to make it perfect. So once the template is perfect, we'll go to production. Now, the next step for the screen printer, which in this case is me, is we would get your design and print it on a transparency paper and print it in all black. Now, no matter if this design is going to be white on the t-shirt, this design will always be black on this transparency paper. But in this t-shirt, it'll be black, red, whatever the color the client chooses. Now, the reason that this has to be black on this transparency paper is because the screens are actually coated with emulsion, and that emulsion is light sensitive to UV rays, such as this one. When I go to expose it on there, when this is taped onto the screen, this light will hit the green emulsion and harden everything that that light touches. But this, the black ink actually blocks that light from touching that emulsion. So when I go to rinse it out, this design will freely rinse off, which opens the screen to let this design get ink through it. And that is how the printing is done. But I'm not a lecturer type. So let me show you exactly what it's like hands on. As you can see, it got dark in here and it's yellow. This is actually the safe light because like I said, the lights cannot touch the screen because once it touches the screen, it hardens and it ruins it and the whole process is done. So you have to have a safe light on. Now I'm gonna grab a freshly coated screen and as you can see, it's drying in here. Well, it's already dried now, but no light is getting in here as I emphasize and no UV light is supposed to touch it until after it is exposed. So you wanna grab the right mesh count. In this case, I'm gonna grab a 256 because that is for more finer detailed stuff. But in general, if you have like just words and stuff, you wanna get a 110 or a 156 and you'll be fine with that. But in this case, I'm gonna grab a 220. Sorry, I said 256. Now, you wanna bring your design up here and then make sure it's centered with the board. This is a registration system that we use to make sure everything is centered and intact and consistent. Then you wanna grab your screen. First, you wanna put the tape in the corners and you grab your screen. Simply line it up to the corners, lay it down, press. That way, this is stuck on there. And now the next step is for you to lay it onto the exposure unit with the gap. Press and expose. Now, once your screen is exposed, you wanna bring it to the washout booth and just spray it with water and let it soak for about 30 to 45 seconds. As you can see, I'm going to let it soak now, but as you can see, the design is already slowly starting to show up, and it's going to show up even more when I fully spray it all out. As you can see, the design sprayed out perfectly, and that is the exact image that you saw on the transparency paper and now that this green is hard because it hit with the it got hit with the light but this was blocked out with the uh black ink i'm sorry can't talk 
and now that was able to be sprayed off because the black ink actually stopped the light from hitting it. All right, guys, once your screens are made, they're all dried up, you want to let them dry for a little bit. You can put a fan on them to speed up the drying process. But once your screens are made, you want to bring it over to the screen print station. This is where everything gets done. This is where all your stuff gets printed. It might look like a big spider, but this is where the magic happens. Now what we do is grab our first screen, put it on there, and center it to the center mark. Now these little plus signs is exactly what we're centering to this middle line, which this board is where the shirt actually goes, and this is the center line. So you always want to make sure that the print is center itself. And then you lock it into place. And then you want to tape off the edges so that no screen exits from the openings. Now the next step we would take is go to the ink station and find the right ink that we are printing for your garment. So in this case, we're actually printing some black t-shirts and there's going to be a royal blue print on there. And our royal blue ink is right here. So we're going to take this ink and load it up onto the screen. Once we grab the ink, we want to make sure to mix it properly so that all the texture is perfectly and smooth and it's not so thick. Now that you got your ink mixed up, you want to take it, simply lay it onto the screen. Now what I'm going to do is get those shirts organized for the client's job. Whereas this white stack is theirs, this black stack is theirs, the military green stack is theirs, and even the tan. Where in this case, we're going to start off with the black shirt because this black shirt is actually getting blue ink printed on them. This shirt is getting pink ink printed on it. This shirt is getting white ink printed on it. And this shirt is getting black ink printed on it. Now this does cost extra to do so many ink switches because it's not just a printer printing the garments. It's actually manual labor where we would have to switch out the inks, wash out the screens for each and every switch. And I'll show you exactly what I mean when we go switch. Now let's print our first shirt. I'm gonna load the shirt onto the palette. This is a very thick shirt. You want to bring it up to your desired line. Flood the screen with ink. And then simply push. And voila, there you go. Now you want to take it under the flash dryer. Now that's a mini, that's a mini heater basically, a very hot heater that quickly dries the ink so that you could put on another coat of ink so that it is bright and opaque. Now once the shirt is back, you want to print another print in the same step. Make sure the ink clears from the openings. And there you have it, that looks perfect. Now you want to take it to the conveyor dryer and let it cure for the final cure. Now this is the final curing process and you want to make sure it cures at about 320 to 350 degrees and use its temp gun to make sure that it does do just that, which it is. And then the shirt will just fall in the bucket and you'll be ready to go. And there you have it guys, the back design is came out perfectly and it's printed bright and opaque because we did that double pass, which is a print slash print. And it came out amazing. And we always you want to get your screen printer to always stretch this out to make sure it doesn't crack or anything. This makes it so that it'll last in the wash. And that is what the conveyor dryer is meant to do. So now let's roll a little time lapse. You guys can watch me do this.
And just like that, all the back prints are done. Print came out crisp. And let's move on to the front. All right, you guys, now that all the back prints are done, which was this screen, we want to move on to the front prints, which means we have to refold all these shirts and get them back and redo everything to do the front print. So, yeah, let's go do that. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you guys the front print. I'll load the shirt up. Loaded with ink. There you have it. And then you do the same thing where you flash it for a couple seconds. guys now let's redo that for all other shirts all right guys now that the front and back print is done with the blue ink on the black shirts we have to remove this screen go take it back to the washout boots where i first did the exposing the screens and we have to scrub a dub dub this ink off this screen and this screen and also this squeegee oh. that is why ink switches do cost more because us screen printers or anybody that you go to has to physically clean each and every screen to go switch it to the new ink so that it is all clean to put the new ink on and get ready to print. So let's go do that. All right, guys, here we are. Like I said, we have to clean both screens every time. And this client actually got three ink switches. So I'm gonna have to do this three times. So it's gonna be one day. It's gonna be a long day, but let's do this. Let's roll a little time lapse of me doing this. Alright guys, as you guys saw, you have to wash and scrub each and every screen. The chemicals are harsh that I even have to put on a mask. I need a better mask. But anyways, I'm going to go do that. I'm not going to show you guys each and every color because it's the same process, just different colors. So I'm going to go do that and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, I know I said I wasn't going to record the other inks, but this pink ink, I have to show you guys how clean it looks. Especially on this white shirt. It looks clean. Mmm. Amazing. It'll look even better with the second print. <clears throat> All right guys, now that all the shirts are finished, the front and back print came out amazing, smooth print. Now we're gonna do the neck tag where he would actually get his logo right there on the neck tag. So let me show you how to do that. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you guys how to screen print the neck tag. This is the line that we're following above it just a little bit. And it's the same process. There you have it. And that concludes the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video on how to start a clothing brand and even taking you behind the scenes of the screen printing process and what exactly screen printing is. Screen printing is one of the best methods of printing, and if you plan to start a color brand, then you must know what screen printing is because it's very reliable, it's very durable, and it's great for bulk orders. You can thank me later. 
I have helped build brands for many years now, and I love what I do. If you found this video helpful, please, please, please like, subscribe, and share this video so this helpful information can get out there. Plus, these videos take quite some time to make, especially this one. Also, if you want to check out my work and see what I'm up to, I'm active on Instagram where I post daily, post my work, um, post live stories, of me screen printing. So please make sure you check that out. It's at Aesthetic Imprints. It's the same thing as the YouTube channel name. If you truly want to support me and help get this video out there, please, please, please like and comment down below. Comment anything. The YouTube algorithm loves comments and engagement. So please, let's engage. Engage with me. I'll comment back. And yeah, let's get this video out there. And if you're new here, please, 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 let's take a five second break. Hit that little triangle thing right there. Hit that. You will subscribe to my videos and welcome to the family. Anyways, if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like these videos. Check out my other videos. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And everyone else, thank you for the support. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And no grind, no glory.